Tesla's future just got brighter with CATL's amazing new batteries. Hey guys, welcome to the Torque News show where we talk about everything related to Tesla and electric vehicles. Today I'm going to talk about CATL's new M3P batteries and how they're going to impact future Tesla vehicles. Yes, there are new batteries coming, but you may have heard about that in the media already. As you may already know, CATL, or some people call it CATL, is one of Tesla's biggest suppliers for batteries. And recently they announced that they're going to start the production of their next generation M3P batteries for electric vehicles. These batteries are expected to offer 15% greater energy density than traditional lithium iron phosphate batteries that are currently used in vehicles such as the Model 3 rail-wheel drive. In August last year, CATL announced that they were working on new battery technology. And just last week, during an investor briefing, Chairman Zheng Yukun noted that the new batteries development had been successful. He also mentioned that the new battery would cost less and perform better than nickel and cobalt based competitors. So what does this mean for Tesla? Well, the M3P battery future and batteries feature an energy density that's about 15% higher than the 210 kilowatt hour kilo per kilogram in current LFP batteries. This energy density should enable vehicles to achieve a range of about 700 kilometers, that's 430 miles per single charge, at least if it's used alongside CATL's next generation battery pack technology, as noted in a Reuters report. CATL is already a major player in battery sector, electric vehicle battery sector, providing electric vehicle batteries to major automakers such as uh, Volkswagen, BMW, Ford, and Tesla. And one of their primary customers, like I said, is Tesla, the leader in the electric vehicle sector. In fact, the significance of the partnership between CATL and Tesla is emphasized by the battery giant's establishment of a new 70 gigawatt hour factory just 5 kilometers from Tesla Gigafactory in Shanghai. Tesla's Shanghai factory is currently the company's largest by volume, providing Model 3 sedans and Model Y crossovers to both the international and domestic markets. CATL's prominence in the battery sector has even caught the attention of China's, uh, Chinese President uh, Xi, Jinping, Xi Jinping, who noted earlier this month that he was pleased and concerned about CATL's rise. That was a quote. So there you have it, guys. CATL's new M3P batteries are a game changer in the battery sector, offering higher energy density and lower costs. And for Tesla, this means better performance and longer range for their vehicles. We can't wait to see what the future holds for these batteries and the continued emergence of electric vehicle sector. And before we end the show, let's talk about what this means for the environment. The adoption of electric vehicles is a crucial step towards reduction carbon emissions and combating climate change. The M3P batteries higher energy density means that electric vehicles like Tesla vehicles can travel farther on a single charge making them more practical and convenient for everyday use. Moreover, CATL's plans to manufacture these batteries at a lower cost will make electric vehicles even more affordable and accessible to a wider range of consumers. This could help accelerate the transition towards cleaner more sustainable transportation. So in conclusion, CATL's new M3P batteries represent a significant development in the battery sector with implications for the future of electric vehicles. And with Tesla's prominent position in the market, in the automotive market, we can expect to see these batteries powering the company's vehicles in the years to come. So thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more updates on all things Tesla and electric vehicles. And also, if you haven't seen, check my previous report that I did before this at our YouTube channel. So go to my YouTube channel's homepage and look uh, under videos. You can see the previous video, which is about Tesla revealing its plans for Giga Berlin expansion. And there are interesting things, especially Tesla's doing that. To, um, to save 1,000 trucks per day. That's a huge number, 1,000 trucks per day. 
So what do you think about all of these things and LFPs, uh, uh, CATLs, new batteries for Tesla and ranging the uh, uh, that in, in, in increasing the range of Tesla beyond 400 miles. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And if you would like to support this channel, I would greatly appreciate your support. Give us thanks, send us thanks. I would greatly appreciate it. God bless you, peace be with all of you. Tweet this out and give us thumbs up if you found this report useful and helpful. And have a great day. And I'll see you soon in our next report.